this. All right, we're trying as directed by weightless bullets, high gravity, and battle royale. We've got bombs and spitter bolts, and a jar of water. All right, battle rail. Well, he anticipated the, the mine cart, unfortunately. Good evening there, Hefty Nut. Interesting to see which was going to explode first. It's always interesting when you share a language with somebody, but the either the accent or just the regional that the particular uh, regional nuance of it can make some words completely foreign despite a similar usage. <laughs> Looks like, what, Wagwan Mydrilla? <laughs> Seems an odd one. Luckily, we have the heel cap pods to uh, make up for my ease of distraction. <laughs> Bloop. Oh, 
We seem to have wedged ourselves a bit. Let's see if we can wiggle free. There we go. Hmm. I have to use a bomb. Evening there, Parakeet. an incident with one of the heesy fat fryers. <laughs> Blood at the bottom of the pool. Ooh. Lucky clear path upward. Well, it, well, I hesitate to mention, but it looks like it's stable for now. <laughs> See if it holds out. Hey, thanks for the subscription there, Hefty. Appreciate the sport. I was closer to that than I should have been. There are a lot of there are a lot of streamers out there that uh, go for a particular level of intensity or uh, one way or another in this, but I find a let's mess around with um, a bit of madness a strangely relaxing way to do the stream. are an integral part of the stream. They anchor this whole corner. If not, the whole video would just be flying loose all willy-nilly. Dynamite. 
I prefer dynamite. Shield, that guy was locked on. Nothing extra there. Let's see what we get. Oh man, an earthquake shot wand. I mean, you know, I rag on it, but. If I had the right equipment, then that could be amusing for tunneling purposes. It's just I far from the right stuff to use that. Well, that's kind of funny. That could be useful. What toys do we get? Let's take the electro immunity. Oh, hey. Um, okay, I'm not seeing that one having taken effect. Yeah, okay. There, had to refund that last perk since it didn't actually redeem. Well, it didn't actually function. There's something about the spawned perks that sometimes when you pick them up, they are treated as like a phantom inventory item. We don't know why. It's annoying. I mean, part of it is I reserve my Noida play for on the stream. And that always keeps it kind of fresh. So I don't feel like I'm getting, uh, like, that's all I ever do. Out of curiosity. <laughs> Not useful, but funny. But this could be useful. Damage plus triplicate bolt. Very classic. That, in theory, in theory, if I do this, this will make it so the bombs will kind of stay put, kind of, sort of. Yep. Still affected by gravity, but it takes them longer to roll. One of the other things that I really do try to do when I'm uh, running running these Noida runs is just try weird stuff. Boom. Plenty of the wands and perk choices that I make are bad. <laughs> Part of the fun is seeing if some of the things that are happening, either randomly or because we just, you know, let's play with saw blades for a bit, is something that we decide to do, if we can make that work. Always cast short range homing. Huh. We'll swap it.
<laughs> I mean, hey, we're lightning immune. Okay. So here. You can see where the, the perk thing messes with the UI. So if you recall, I said sometimes it goes into your inventory and it kind of confuses the game. This slot right here should be filled with a pheromone potion, but instead, the potion's here. <laughs> Why it did that and what's doing that, I don't know. But I really do need to change that redemption so that it just does the random perk uh, event. So it just gives me the perk. That way I can't miss it, and you don't have to worry about it being a drop. configuration there. Okay, I was going to go that way, but there's a Robocop over there. Let's just go this way instead. Another curse pull, another damage up. Hmm. Okay. So the shame about this wand is that it's a shuffle. Same with this one. But that one's got built-in short-range homing, which covers for a lot of sins. Get rid of the tri-pattern. Tri oh, wow. Spells to power with bubbles. Hmm. Okay. So, first, we, we finish stripping this wand of useful bits. And we have an always cast short range homing, which is just better. So we'll swap this one. So now we have a spells to power with lots of bubbles. And a decent fire rate. What we can do is just go with a classic like so. The recoil is a bit of a problem. We've got that. In the interim, we've got a double damage boosted. That is so weird. <laughs> there it is, Mournful Spirit. Found it. So very briefly, there was a there was a perk in one of my inventory slots, but it's not supposed to be there. So the game gets very confused. OK, we'll use these this way for now. Pop 
this in there like that. It's not ideal, but these all have short-range homing, so it could be good. Some very dead, totally regular ducks. All right, so that said, we shall now take the perk on this wand. Makes them faster. Ten minutes worth of trickiness. And a whole lot of frost damage. All right, let's see here. Something got transmuted into SEMA. It's not ideal, and it's kind of death if a uh, path effect gets triggered, but... You know, bubbles. Evening there, Keith. How are you doing? I saw an article about that Flesh Biome mod. And while personally that is totally up my alley, as far as the kind of, like, designs I like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll have to try it. I know at least one of the textures reminded me of one that was used in the More Enemies mod. Ah, that would explain it. Might have to take a look. Oh, I think oil got replaced with Sema. Yeah, that's good. Sema is not very flammable. Oh yeah, that confirms it. Swimming, breathing. <laughs> Much better when they're killing each other. find some, a new portal after some maniac flooded that one with beer. Okay, these bombs are now wiggly and orbit on target. Oh, well, we have to take it with us. That's got Nuke Orbit on it.
We're not explosion immune yet, but if we do become explosion immune. Then we've got our wand again. I mean, it's even got reasonable stats. Not great stats, but reasonable. Let's see. Okay. Let's attract money. The color red is popular today. Turn to face. These could be interesting. We, we never get to play with these. We are... Ooh. That is unlimited spells. Interesting. More options have opened up. So that's a decent wand. Does not have intrinsic homing. It has intrinsic homing, but not many. That one's just not good. As much as I want those, I don't know that I can make use of them just yet. That's kind of slow. We do have a, a homing already available to us. Okay. So we put this one away temporarily so we can grab this. Bam. So now we have something that's relatively fast. Don't need this many bombs. Keep one of those, put that there. That, that, and that, and that. Um, some? I don't know precisely how many. There have been a few things I've managed to do. Homing in general is kind of me. That kind of homing is, I mean. Ooh. Oh, that's exactly what it does there, the fifth potato. It creates a random spell. Okay. Hmm. Put that there. Okay. So, so, uh, 
does drain its if uh it, its long-term efficacy though. Oh, yeah. So, catbots have the same behavior set as homunculi. Um, as soon as you have touched a wand at all, like you've looked at it or you've dropped it, they can pick it up. The most dangerous ones being the healer catbots. Because healer catbots, AI says, shoot the player. Regardless of if they're holding a wand or not. Yep. Yep. But it tends to kick it in such a way that they'll just grab it again. You tend to have to catch them in the air or something. Uh, this wand already has homing. This wand has... Um, I have homing on it. So this one will do short-range homing by default. Since it always casts short-range homing and fast projectiles. It is very good indeed. Now what I want to find is I want to find a rock spell. As we discovered in our last stream, hilarity ensues if you have a rock spell with good homing, especially accelerating homing. Propane did not die. Hmm. Why, yes. extra slot, but we'll keep that one. Field levitation. Rage Field levitation is one of those that is. It's not a bad thing by any stretch. It's just. It's hard for it to compete with other things that are definitely good things. Oh. Toxic sludge to acid. So this part is bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. But I do like the prospect of getting a bunch of drills. So I shall take it. Actually, no, I shall not. I'm keeping that. I've seen improved wands slip through while I wasn't paying attention. Yep. I mean, there are plenty that I could see myself taking it instead of. We are electrically immune. 
Okay, at this point I will swap that one. Because I'm firing enough bubbles that perhaps I can get to having the arc on this thing. Let's find out. Arc acid, double spark, okay. Ew. Double check prices. We can afford a reroll. Um, we'll do repelling cape. It's a lightweight safety perk. This, I now have a trigger effect, which is good. The lifespan on the lifespan reducer on this makes it low utility, and I would like to use lightning bolts, but since I'm not explosion immune, they can still just outright kill me since most of the damage is explosive. But we'll keep a couple of them just in case. The terrible nuance that is explosive damage. Take this off. That to trigger. To a double. Uh, no, like reduced lifespan on, say, like lightning bolt. Well, most of them do matter, though, because even if it's instant, it's still like a number of frames of travel time. In some spells, the lifespan means, well, for the most part, the lifespan means the life of the projectile. So even things like teleportation bolts and similar do have a lifespan and do get their range cut when you do that. That. Ah, that that's true. Since rocks have essentially an infinite lifespan, I don't think it would affect them. There we go. Yep, that'll do. Uh, actually, no. Um, if you kill them with rocks uh, from the summoned rock, it's still an accident. So things like blood money and that will still work. It's a lovely, lovely thing. Okay, I don't infinitely cast it. That looked cool. Nice. <laughs> oh, ow. But why? Laser cat pot. Oh, bad timing.
<laughs> ah, Lancers. All right. I think they may have adjusted the the summon rats a little bit um, since I haven't encountered the uh, homunculi attacking me during that. Uh, there is a system in the background of the game. It's not just you're the player or you're an enti an enemy. Player is one type, but there are whole like groupings of creatures. That's why with uh, Battle Royale, sometimes you'll encounter monsters just kind of sitting there in a group of each other. It's that what Battle Royale actually does is make it so that if, you, if the monsters are in a different family, they're hostile to each other. So all the bees will, like, kill everything but bees. Extra bounciness... Uh, but not a good wand otherwise. Nothing special. Ooh! Okay. Okay. Alright, we're learning. So, unfortunately, the electrical arc formed by electro arc seems to be doing explosive damage. I'm immune to lightning, but not the explosion that comes from it. Which is why electrical immunity of any kind is kind of lackluster, because it doesn't really do anything without, um, like, it, it's the least, of, uh, the least potent without explosive immunity to go with it. Alright, we're gonna have to go completely up and around, I think. Also welcome, Laura. Ooh, convenient. Which is good, because I've, you know, nearly destroyed myself with lightning. Just take that off right now. Trick blood bunny. Okay. What else could we be doing? One can only hope we have all of the goodies necessary. Well, most of the goodies. You really do want accelerating homing. 
or you need a whole lot of perks to make the rocks really fast. Do this, homunculi. Okay. Okay. We'll have to see. Oh, yeah. Warp cast would be pricey to just toss in there like that. This is a really good wand. Like, I wouldn't mind getting this. This this is actually really good for target effects. Ow. Yeah, that's what you get. Stop playing with dangerous wands. Hey, transmutation got rolled. At least I noticed in time. I think the rocks technically last forever. Uh, you know, I've never tested their actual lifespan or looked at it. Like, I've never seen one despawn. Thanks. Thanks for the follow. And yes, that cat is Tom. Giving him plenty of camera time since he's normally not able to commandeer the heating pad for this. Come on. Get monies. There we go. Take Tinker everywhere. It's useful. What else could we do? What else could we do? Oh. Can't afford any of that. We will find a really fancy wand in the temple.
Ooh, got one of those already on the field. Don't like those. Most of the wands, though, that I managed to come up with. Okay, well, that'll mitigate the damage that Earthquake causes. Gus Fungus. Old Pheromone Jar. Okay, well, that's not what I hoped. I hoped kind of the other way around, but okay. Pheromone got turned into lava. That is less good. Traps. The primary weakness of this attack wand being mana pool at the moment. Otherwise, it works really good. spells all he wants, but most of my spells by themselves are kind of weak. Interesting, but not good at all. More interesting in a what are you doing on this floor kind of way. Random perk. Give us a Wrath of God, which I believe immediately fell into the pool of lava. Let's go find out. <laughs> oh, 
Always cast Teleport Bolt. Uh, no. Not with that kind of speed on it. I wonder if we were close enough for that to work. I mean, it did what it was supposed to, but I'm wondering if we were close enough to eat that lava. Doesn't look like it's gonna be. Nope. Hmm. Dodge! Insufficient dodge. There we go. And you can't outthink it, just out explode it. Oh, well, don't you have a pile of goodies? And it's a 10 shot. A 10 shot with horrible things on it. Look at this. Two Omega saw blades and a saw blade orbit. And a nuke. Wow. Okay, well, I would love to be able to put something on this wand. This wand right here. But we're going to swap that because if I get stupid lucky and get explosive immunity... Then I'm going to have a nuke with nuke orbits. get lucky. Man, all kinds of goodies showing up. Okay, we got another chance to get lucky. And again. Yeah! <laughs> okay. So. I mean, that's kind of it. That's, that's it. <laughs> I mean, in theory, I could do a flock of ducks that is also a nuke, but I figure a nuke that is... Oh, yeah. Technically, yes. <laughs> yes, in the sense that if you're going to do some overkill, you do some overkill. So let's go do some overkill.
Yep, it's got enough mana. <laughs> Worth it. Absolutely worth it. If you're going to end a night, one of the best ways to end that night is underneath a pile of rubble and lava caused by firing, like, all of the nukes. <laughs> 